I'm Lynn Damon, and this is my shop. Not only do we sell this product, but we live this life. You never know what we're going to be doing next or where we're going to be, but we're always having fun. I'm Brom Wilson. I produce this show. I try to get you all the great action shots without getting ran over. Together we are right at you. Today on Ride TV, we got a pretty fun adventure planned. We're going to Table Rock Lake, going to be hanging out with a Table Rock Sea Dew rider. So just sent Brahm a text, so he should be up here. He always likes to get down on the water, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I've been excited about this. Spring is finally here, and it's going to be a great weekend. Pitbull Power Sports is Swidak going to help you. Just got a text from Lynn saying that we're gonna go do a sea dew shoot today. I can't wait to get out on the water. It's been like since last summer since we were out there. Going sea dew riding today, huh? <laughs> Can I have this? It's really convenient to have the store at my disposal. I can just go in there and grab whatever I need to do a shoot. Problem's going way overboard with the uh, merchandise from the store. He just comes in and gets whatever he wants anytime he wants. I'm gonna give it back. We're gonna go down. Can you take that off? I can't take you seriously with the life vest <laughs> on. I'm ready, man. I'm excited. I know you're excited. So where are we going? We are going down to Table Rock Lake to hang out with a Table Rock PWC rider. We're going okay. to be doing a hundred mile ride around Table Rock Lake but on CDs. I'm going to be on a CD, right? You're going to be on a CD. That's really all I care about. Saturdays are always crazy at the shop. Ron wants to go ride CDs. I don't have a clue how we're going to get out of here on time. That uh, black, okay. the F3 that we're putting the backrest and stuff on, is it about done? Uh, I was so excited to go see you doing, and then all of a sudden, all these customers start pouring in the store, and I know it's going to be a while before we get to go. You're kidding. You can't. Thanks, Courtney. You're welcome. So you've got Central Time and you've got Lens Time. Lens Time is about Central Time plus two hours. Well, you see that white big one's got the... the... Blue or green, Laramie? Blue's definitely more your color. Having Brom and Laramie in the shop at the same time is like having two kids in a candy store. They want everything. I gotta get a babysitter for them. Being at the store is fun, but I can only pretend that these machines are moving for so long. We gotta get out there and actually have some real fun. Uh, he is, he is with he's customers. Let me see if he's available. The white F3, yes, I'm sorry, I'm fried day on the yes. The white, I was trying to get that out right. Every time I try to leave the store, never fails, I get slammed. Yes, sir? You know when we might be able to get out of here? We're getting out of here pretty quick. I got a couple more things to wrap up and we'll be ready within the next hour. You said we that an hour be. ago. I know, I'm hurrying. I'm waiting on one more phone call. I got a guy coming to pick up a spider and then I'm done. I understand Lynn has a business to run, but I also have a show to make. Oh, okay, yeah. He does this every time. Yeah. We're going to leave early, he says. We're going to get there early, he says. Two hours later. I'm not going to have enough daylight to shoot. I'm not going to do this again. You think? What, what if we just went? What if we just went without him? Just totally leave him behind? Yeah. You, you think he'd be mad? I don't care. <laughs> you know what? I don't either. We decided just to leave Lynn behind at the store. There will probably be consequences for my actions, but I don't care. This is my time. So how are we going to get those without Len noticing? That will be the, the deal. You, you're going to have to go distract him while I hook up. I don't think this is locked. No, it's not. So yeah, you go in there, distract Len. I'll back up, hook up, go in front of the store and give you a honk. And you just run, OK? I'm on it. Okay. Hey, Lynn, can I get you to get a price for my uncle on that F3 right over there? Okay. What's your uncle's name? Uh, Theodore Roosevelt and Nugent. 
And your uncle's name is Theodore Roosevelt? A Nugent, Roosevelt and Nugent. He's not the president, Lynn. Okay, can we get the price? Yeah, but I'm not buying this. All right. Gotta go! Yeah, no. They really didn't leave without me. I know they're just going down the street to gas up and they're coming back to pick me up. Oh, not sir. I can't believe they left me. Well, at least you don't have to pay for gas. Well, we don't have Lynn today. We got his car. Who needs Lynn? So, uh, Brahm and Laramie leave without me? I will get even. Somehow, some way. This is it, Rob. Here we go. We are the extreme team. We are the dream team. We are partners in action. We are the masters of disasters. Okay. The definition of destruction. I, I got it. We are Bonnie and Clyde. Okay. Maybe this was a We a good go idea. together like peanut butter and jelly, and we will destroy this. Thing. This is this is just a one-time thing, Laramie. You're back at the camera as soon as this is over, okay? Lynn is never gonna be your cameraman, okay? I don't know what Brown and Laramie do at Ride It. I really don't. They're just out playing all the time. There's no actual work getting done. It's Brown and Laramie out riding jet skis, having a blast, and I've got one, two, three like nine people to call back, and Len wants spiders done, and I'm just a little bit jealous right now. Maybe a little bit heated, if you can't tell. A spider? It's a three-wheel motorcycle. No, not a three-wheel, a three-wheel motorcycle, a road bike. get so much accomplished without Lynn. It's insane. Like, we would get a whole day's worth shoot done in a couple hours, get some fishing done, eat a good lunch. That's the important part. We get to eat. <laughs> that is the important part. OK, June 7th or 8th. to um, meet with these people. They're, it's a Facebook group. They're called the Table Rock PWC Riders. Uh, they meet every year down here and they do a 100 mile ride on Sea Dew. So, sounds like fun. Yeah, sounds like Did you bring fishing poles? I did. Nice. I'm thinking um, we uh, head out with them mm -hmm. and it kind of peel off. Maybe get a little bit of fishing done, yeah. get back on the trailer and maybe meet them at the end. That sounds like a wonderful plan. We pull into Hideaway Resort and I was a little nervous that the, they had ran off and left us because Lynn made us late. But luckily we got there just in time and Jamie was there waiting on us. Go ahead and go in. You go in that driveway over there Uh huh. and then it circles around. You'll see down the garbage zones, dump in and then go straight out that way. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay. Hello. Hey. Jamie Hankins. Jamie. Brown Wilson, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. So, 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 what's the plan for today? What are we doing? We are at Hideaway. Uh, it's on the James River Arm, Upper James River Arm. What we're gonna do is this is this is our normal ride. This is like the fifth year. We take off. We head to Beaver, Arkansas. It's about 60 miles one way. We head down to the old uh, what they call the Golden Gate Bridge of the Ozarks, pretty mm -hmm. close to Eureka Springs. That's basically the end of Table Rock. You're only 10, 15 miles from the base of Beaver Dam. We'll turn around, we'll stop at Big M, which is the closest town to Big M, would probably be Cassville or Golden, get gas, eat lunch, and ride back. And we're pretty much done, because that's 110 miles and you're pretty spent. That's probably a good day on the water. Though. It is a good day. Awesome. Cool. Well, I can't wait to get to it. Good. Let's well, get these skis in the water and we'll, we'll head out. Glad to have you with us, appreciate it. I'm always the one filming the show. 
I'm the guy that rides on the back of somebody else's sea dew holding the camera, on the back of somebody else's spider holding the camera, or running alongside side-by-sides filming these two guys play. Now, I finally get to get in on the action and play on some of these machines. <laughs> Alright, we're just finishing up on tying, gearing up, getting ready to head out on the water. Great time out here today. I mean, you couldn't ask for more beautiful weather. It's just perfect. We've got a big crew out here, so it's almost like going on a motorcycle ride on the lake. We get the skis on the water, and Jamie says he's got a slalom course set up just around the bend. And this is going to be the perfect opportunity for me to show you my skills on a ski. This is the slalom course out by Hideaway Marina. Um, it's actually a core permitted slalom course. The owner of the marina actually has a, his son is a champion slalom skier. They come out here and practice, and they let us run our jet skis through it as long as we don't damage it. Just a little friendly competition among friends. Matthew just bought one from us a couple days ago. It's going to be on the water today. Hi, my name's Matthew. I'm on the new RX, RXP X300. You know, so far it's been a blast to drive. I've been an hour and a half on it, so it's not at the full potential yet, but uh, um, it corners real well. It's very agile. It has sliced, sliced to the corners, sliced to the wakes. So far it's, it's great and fun to ride. You got to look at this picture I'm sending to Lynn, bro. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> There's Brom and Lammy out on the water. Those guys. He's gonna love that one. It's hot out here. We need to get up moving. Uh, it must be do nice. they do any work or they just have fun? They, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to right. don't think there could be a more perfect day to be out on the water. I wonder what Lynn is doing. I can't believe they left me. And look, they're sending me texts. Looks like fun. Yeah, for them. Jerks. 
It's so much fun out here today. I wish Lynn could have made it, but we would not have gotten this much sunlight to enjoy our time with him. So, accept it. Having a great time. Pretty good success. Everybody seemed to have a really good time. What do you guys think? Yeah. Awesome group, guys. Just got done hanging out with Jamie and the Table Rock PWC Riders Group. Just a great bunch of people. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't do the whole ride with them. They're doing like 120 miles today. Wish we could have done that. But if you want, check them out. Table Rock PWC Riders on Facebook. Intelligent Break in Reverse. The world's first and only on-water braking system gives you greater control over your watercraft. Simply squeeze a lever and IBR stops you up to 100 feet sooner. For increased safety and better collision avoidance. An innovation in watercraft control honored by the U.S. Coast Guard. IBR also makes for easier docking and superior low speed maneuverability. To control other watercraft, you have to use one hand to pull up and down on a mechanical lever. With IBR, you can keep both hands on the handlebars and shift quickly and easily between forward and reverse just by squeezing and releasing a lever. Plus, a Sea-Doo watercraft with IBR automatically starts in neutral, so unlike other watercraft, you don't immediately move forward. Intelligent Brake in Reverse, available on select Sea-Doo watercraft for more control and greater peace of mind. It's the best time of the year. Time for the Can-Am Spring Fever Sales Event. Get a cash rebate of up to $2,000 on select models. Or get the Outlander L starting at $59.49. Don't miss the Can-Am Spring Fever Sales Event. Only until April 30th at your local dealer. Can-Am, the ride says it all. Why do we put so much effort into engineering the Can-Am Defender? Why do we equip it with tough Rotax engines featuring best-in-class torque? Why do we give it industry-leading towing and hauling capabilities? And why do we make it clever with versatile cargo solutions and much more? Well, why do you put so much effort at everything you do? Because a job worth doing is worth doing right. Can-Am Defender. Tough, capable, clever. Get a three-year VRP limited warranty plus $500 in Defender accessories. Me and Laramie are having so much fun on the water. I'm starting to feel just a little bit guilty for leaving them, so I thought I'd give them a call and check on them. Hey, Bull Power Sports, this is Courtney. Hey, Courtney, this is Brom. Is Lynn available? Uh, is that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> it is Saturday at 12.30. Available? <laughs> no, I know he's never available. But we, just, we just wanted to talk to him and kind of rub it in a little bit. Oh, okay. Hold on one second. Brom called, and he thinks I'm going to take that jerk's call? No way. He just wants to rub it in. He's on the water plane, and I'm at the office. Hey, Brom. Yeah? Uh, he's giving this couple a rundown on their bike and how to work it. Can you take a message? He just needs to take care of the store, but we are having plenty of fun. Tell him that. Okay. We had so much fun out there today on the water. And since Lynn wasn't there, we actually got all of our shots taken care of early and had enough time to wet a line real quick before we went home. Catch anything, Laramie? I wish you'd have got me something a little bit bigger than this Spider-Man pole. Be glad you got a pole at all. If not a nicer pole, maybe like some bait? Because you just gave me a sinker and a hook with not even a worm. No matter what, I always get the short end of the stick. You ready to eat? Let's go right after this cast. All right, Laramie, one more cast and then we're gonna go. As soon as I catch a fish, we're gonna go. Last cast, I promise. The very last cast of the day. One more cast. This could be the start of a new show, the Brahm and Laramie show, where uh, we get places on time and we go to sleep at a decent hour and we eat. And I don't know what else. It'll be cool over my dead body. They gotta come home sometime with the skis. They're probably gonna try to slip in the back lot, drop them off, but uh, I'm gonna head them off at the pass. I'll be there waiting for both of them. All right, if we do this right, we'll sneak in here to the back shop and uh, drop these off. He'll never know we were here. 
trying to find out that we were gone. I know, but... At least we don't have to deal with it today, I guess. Yeah. Oh, shoot. There he is. Dang it. Hey, hey, buddy. What are you doing? Yeah. I see how this goes. You leave me. We never leave a man behind, Brom. Well, we we wanted to get I there know, early. I know. Hey, hey, we yeah. had a good time. Oh, I'm glad to hear you had a good time. All right, well, I'm gonna go get something to eat. No, we gotta clean these up now. You can't, can your guys get it? They're, they can wash it, can't they? Now it's time for my revenge. I got the perfect job for them too. Hi guys. What's up? How's it going back here? Pretty good. Did you well, enjoy your right. city trip all right? Yeah, it's good. Uh, here's a list of all the stuff that I need to get done. This would be a good list of chores for you. What is this? Hope you enjoyed that trip. What? Um, there you go, but Laramie. No matter what, I'd always get the short end of the stick. Here's Brom's billfold. Something's better than nothing to throw out there to the fish. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I think the talk went well with him, so. And on that, you will have to get, we didn't know that at the time, we just figured we could be like it has been for the last four years and just buy a wire. But they won't just sell you the wiring. So to cure the, we'll work it out, so. Basically what we need to do is just figure out what we're doing on your bike. Just 